Hey, what's up, interwebs? My name is Dustin Bryson. I'm a photographer and a filmmaker, and today I am going to be talking about and reviewing the Joby Suction. If you're looking for an inexpensive way to get really cool shots, this just might be the solution for you. This is a monopod that you can screw different heads onto. I have one for my iPhone. I also have one for my GoPro session. The downside to this little unit is that if you want to use it on the move, it's a little bit wobbly, it's a little bit janky. It doesn't really shoot a solid shot. There's a lot of movement. But if you want to put this on the side of your house, if you're going to stick it to a mirror, anywhere you want a cool shot that has a smooth surface or a glass surface, you're good to go. You can stick it on the fridge. And so this little unit is pretty cool for that kind of stuff. It's inexpensive. I think it's about $17 or $18 US. And so, you know, you can just suction it, hit record, and forget it. Now this is only for smaller cameras. Uh, again, like I said, I use a GoPro session. I'm gonna link my review to the GoPro session right up here somewhere in the uppers area. The real upside to this is the intense suction. This is not one of those flip down situations. You twist this red cylinder down and it locks the suction cup into place. It's really pretty solid. I mean, it's hard to, to rip it off. So if you're looking to do some shots in the car where you're filming yourself and you're talking or you're vlogging that way, this might not be the unit for you. It is a little bit janky. There's a little bit of movement and there's just a little bit too much camera shake for me. Now Joby does put out a Gorilla Pod that is their Action Sport series and I think it's about $8 more and I think with that one you're gonna get a more solid monopod, a more solid shot, you're not gonna have as much camera shake. So I'm actually gonna purchase that. I'll do a review here at some point when I get it. So what I did was I, I wanted to test this out so I stuck this on top of my sunroof on my car, locked it down, put the GoPro session on the top and I drove. I got to about 45 miles an hour. Here's some of that footage you can check out for yourself. And I, you know, I thought it works pretty well. I, I don't have a ton of problems with it, It's, but it is just too shaky. So if you want a set shot, this is just a fine little monopod. But if you're looking for something for more action, for more movement in your car, you're gonna wanna get something that has a little bit more stability. So I would love to hear about your monopod, your tripod, how do you get those cool shots, those shots from the car, those tire shots, wheel shots. So please, I love watching reviews. I watch way too many of them. And so leave a link in the comments and I'll check out your review. If you know of anything that's better than this, would love to see them. So thanks a lot, guys. Hey, don't forget to let your light shine and live bright. See you soon. Ah, oh, these friggin' planes.